Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, so far today, we've seen uh, rain come and go across the region here in downtown Portsmouth. We've seen occasional showers, but it hasn't been as heavy as some of these inland locations. It's been very rough there. Here's the big setup, and we've got a stationary front that's down to our southeast, and it has moved north a little bit. We've also got a lot of humidity in place, and so that deep, rich moisture is creating some heavy showers. Now, let's take a look at it and uh, get a closer view. This is Super Doppler 10 radar and taken in full, and so uh, right now we've got that heavy rain uh, into parts of North Carolina and, again, inland into Virginia. So right now across North Carolina, this is mainly along the Outer Banks. So we got some around mainland Dare County. It's picking up there. Also in Manio, that's moving to the north. We don't have any warnings there, but we have had some heavy rain around Murfreesboro on northward, and that's where we do have some warnings. So let's take a look at it right now. We've got that one warning in here around uh, northeastern Hertford County on up into Franklin. This goes till 1:30. Notice a lot of the rains moved out of there, so that's good news. However, that same heavy rain has moved to the northwest, so now there's a new warning. This just came in a little bit ago, so this is for uh, parts of Southampton County around Druryville, and that goes until 3:15. That's another flash flood warning. Some uh, heavy rain there for a time. Now we had heavy rain here for a long time this morning around Isle of Wight County, Surrey. County. This goes until 1 o'clock, that flash flood warning. And then there's one more up here, and that covers James City County, Williamsburg, and parts of northern uh, York County. That goes until 2.15. So a lot of rain out there today. It was really coming down. Luckily, some of the heaviest rains moved out of these warned areas, but there's more to come. Right now, there's another one. There's, let's talk about some areas that aren't warned. Uh, northern Suffolk, you got some heavy rain. It goes up to Burbage Grant, starts up around Driver. And around uh, also Bowers Hill. A few spotty showers in the Virginia Beach and Chesapeake, but not too much. A few spotty showers around Pocosin and other parts of York County. But it's quiet in Hampton, it's quiet in Matthews, and we got a few spotty showers on the eastern shore, Nassawatoks and Melva. So the forecast for this afternoon scattered showers continue. Could see a few more heavy downpours and a few thunderstorms are possible. This goes up until about 6 o'clock. Now we go to the overnight, we're gonna see a few more showers out there, maybe a thunderstorm even. And then tomorrow, now it looks like we get some heavy rain in the morning, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as heavy throughout the day tomorrow. This is at noon, got some scattered showers, southeast winds, and up until 3 o'clock, we got some scattered showers there as well. Here's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, some more scattered showers, and perhaps a few thunderstorms. Now, the rain totals are going to vary quite a bit. On top of what we've already got, we could see another half inch to an inch and a half. Some locations could see more than two inches, but that should be isolated. And this goes up until 5 o'clock. Don't take it too literally, but you get the idea that there's still potential for some heavy rain. Right now, got a lot of clouds. Temperatures are in the upper 70s to low 80s. And they're not going to go up too much more because of the clouds and the showers and the uh, northeast winds that we have. So I got our high temperatures in the low 80s this afternoon. Some on and off showers. And so again, some of these could be heavy. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gust to 20. Now, we got to talk about the tropics. Yeah, if that wasn't enough. So we've got a weak disturbance here, which is a few hundred miles to the southeast of Hatteras, moving west-northwest. 30% chance of formation, but whether it forms or not, I do think it'll bring us some rain as we get into Friday. It'll probably get wrapped up into a cold front, but we'll see. Two tropical storms in the Atlantic, Renee and Paulette. Uh, here's the latest track. We've got Paulette over the middle of the Atlantic. 60 mile an hour winds, and that one's moving off to the west northwest. This one stays a tropical storm for a time. It does move towards Bermuda, and I think it will move pretty close to Bermuda and then move off to the north. Probably going to stay offshore, but it's not 100% guaranteed just yet. Still a little uncertainty, so we'll watch that one carefully. This one is expected to stay out to sea, but this one, Renee, is expected to become a hurricane. So that could happen briefly, and then it'll move off uh, to the north and become a tropical storm again over the cooler waters of the Atlantic. Between both of those, I think it's going to rev up the waves over the Atlantic, and that's going to move on to the East Coast. So we'll probably have some higher waves. Good for surfers, but it would know, be tough to take advantage of because we've got so much rain in the forecast. So this rain isn't necessarily from any tropical systems. We may have a depression from that one that's uh, coming away from Bermuda, but I do think we've got a lot of rain out there regardless. Today, 80% chance of rain, 60% Thursday, 60% Friday. We need some rain in the region, but I think we're getting a little too much in some places, and we don't need it for seven days in a row. So hopefully it lets up a little bit by the time we get to Sunday.